All right, guys. Well, you probably tell I just woke up. Um, <laughs> coming from Arizona, it's tough to experience the cold of Texas here. But let me show you something here. Let me show you something. All right, so up here, I'm gonna post the temperature. This is a screenshot of my phone of the temperature that I woke up to this morning. And let me tell you, it's much different than what we're used to. Arizona, it got maybe 33, maybe down that far. But uh, <laughs> here, as you can see, it's nine degrees. And the, this is one of the coldest days okay uh that we've ever had i mean i remember being frozen in a trailer i used to live in in kentucky and we were frozen solid my dad had to pretty much slam the door open to get out so we could all go to school and work and everything so um we haven't been this uh we haven't been this cold so uh today i had to call off work or at least the morning so I can concentrate on this problem here. Let me show you what happened. <laughs> well, we didn't need my generator last night. We didn't need the AC last night. And well, I did need the septic last night. <laughs> but anyway, my wife woke up and she went to wash her hands and she says, uh oh, we have no water. So right here is where our main water line comes in to the house right well if we peek in there i have a heat lamp on and just now i installed a heater so that it can start warming that area up and start thawing out those pipes you don't want to thaw them out too quickly because you you'll build steam inside the pipe if you like took a torch to it you could build steam up in the pipe and blow out your pipe that way and then you'll have hot steam blowing across your face well this little hole here, crudely cut, uh, this, is, this is something I'm going to be changing very soon. But uh, for now, as you can see, there's insulation in there all the way around to help hold in that heat. And I'm hoping that our, uh, our water comes back soon <clears throat> because this even froze here. And what the problem is, is I didn't have this insulation around there. I just put that in there to help warm it up so this insulation is going to be put in here a little little better and we're gonna we're gonna keep it in there um, but the thing that I didn't think of and I'm worried about the most is my water heater let's open this up and see what's inside there all right this is what I'm mostly worried about because if these lines froze up that means that froze up the coil in my tankless water heater froze up Oh, it's sitting a little sideways but uh and if that froze up that unit is gone it's it's garbage so that's what i'm most worried about here's the supply coming from the uh the main line i mean this is all insulated around here so it kind of produces a a little bit of uh heat protection but uh I have this piece. I'm probably going to use this down there to insulate some of those lines and I might have to go get some more. But the main thing is, is I have to thaw out the lines and make sure that I actually have a viable uh, water heater. That's, that's my most concern there. So, uh, all right. So I also am going to go underneath the house uh, to inspect some other areas that I think may have some exposed water lines. So that's coming up on Cobra Vids. Okay, so okay, so here's an update. Um, with that heater in there and the insulation, I now have cold water coming out of the cold side. But like I was, I was hoping I wouldn't have it still frozen on the hot side because I thought it was just the supply line. But I'm still thawing out the supply line that runs up to the water heater. So. 
keep your fingers crossed that we don't have damage because we're not going to go through this again we're going to go through and i'm going to show you how i'm going to actually prevent anything like this from happening again uh stick with us this is going to be a fun little adventure <laughs> all right guys excuse my 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 stylish hood here but uh it's still cold it's like nine o'clock in the morning and it's still freezing cold so anyway uh now that we have our cold water running just fine, now we need to worry about the hot water side. And that's going to be interesting because uh, I got a on-demand tankless water heater, which oh, has copper, copper pipes going back and forth and it's wrapped with uh, a heater coil and that's how it heats the water. <laughs> well, look at what I got here. Now I have my heater inside this area where my, my water heater is. And uh, so it's heating that space. Hopefully it's going to start defrosting it. Uh, one of water's, yep, water's flowing out of our hose bib. So, it, so it's thawing, it's, it's thawed. I just gotta get in there and protect it. So um, here's what we're gonna do. Here is our bathroom area here. I'm gonna mount a switch here, which is which right on the other side of this is where the water heater is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and and double check that I can put a box here, and then I'm gonna cut this hole, in, install an afterthought box. I uh, on right here. Afterthought is because it has little tabs. You cut the hole, slide it in, screw those those screws there, right there, down, and it lifts these tabs up and it locks locks it in the wall that way. That's what I call an afterthought box. Uh, there's probably a real name for them, but I don't care. It's an afterthought box because the way I think of it is you build a wall and then you're like, oh shit, I wanted an outlet right there. So that's an afterthought. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's correct or not, but anyway. So I got my little blade here. This is the kind of thing I use to cut holes. But first I need to make sure because somewhere I have that vent pipe coming down, uh, which taps into the drainage of my sink here. So I want to make sure I'm not going to be building a box right in that because I have to have a wire come out and down and bleep and blot and all that shit. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and double check that. Be right back. I'll show you what I got going on inside that water heater closet. Right now I got this heater warming up these pipes. Hopefully we can start seeing some uh, water flow on the hot side. Uh, if this froze here, this is going to spew water. As soon as it starts thawing out, it's going to just start spewing water. So um, I want to make sure that uh, that's not happening. So anyway, our, our box is going to be mounted here. So I'm going to mount another one lower here with a plug. And that's where the heater here is going to plug in right here. And then we're going to continue running it downward underneath here and we're going to mount another box for a heater down low so we have two heaters running in here to keep things superbly warm and what i was thinking about doing is somehow attaching a piece of insulation to the back side of this to help insulate this little closet but i don't know if that's even possible we're just making some verbal plans so I'm going to go ahead and cut that hole because that's going to be good. And then we'll mount this other box and we're going to start getting this thing back together. Okay, so I've installed this first afterthought box. It's not screwed in yet, just in case I have to remove it for some reason. And here is the wire for the switch. Okay, uh, but I'll try to explain it visually too as I'm wiring it up. But for right now, we're just going to go and install the other box that I pulled this up from down here some. And um, we'll move forward. Exciting stuff, guys. All right, so we're almost done. We got this outlet for the upper for the actual water heater heater line. And this is plugged in to this heater here. And I'm gonna have this right here and running. So every time I flip on that switch on the inside, this heater and the bottom one is gonna come on and keep everything nice and warm and keep it from freezing. I gotta go get some, some tape so i can tape all this up make sure it's all all taped up wrapped up nice and snug and warm and then we'll go down below and we'll make sure everything's the same down there and then we'll close it back up and hope that our hot water comes back really soon 
So be right back. All right, guys, so we've completely insulated all of the piping upstairs and down here. And now we are, we are all insulated. I just got to get a heater to set in here. I got to get a little brick to set the heater on so it's nice and stable. And then, oh shit, just got something in my eye. Okay, so we got everything insulated. I know, I know, this tape is supposed to come off. Uh, it's supposed to tape together, but these are old and the glue's not very good. So I just left it. Fuck it, you know? Okay, so we got our outlet installed here. And we got one upstairs and this is going to be for the heater and it will run any time that the that that switch on the inside is lift up and okay so we're gonna get a heater in here be right back hot water side we have hot water now that is hot hot water right there 